Well, good morning, YouTube. You may hear the construction has reached the front of my house and they are digging a deep trench right in front of my driveway. If I had too much to drink one night and didn't watch my step, I'd uh, fall right in there. I'm playing some rather loud buck. My apologies to John, Jean uh, Panzer. Uh, you're, you're right, sometimes I play it a bit loud, but uh, otherwise you're just going to hear the uh, hydraulics of that digger out there. Well, this morning I wanted to make a kick off on uh, the second round of my mini series about the tobacconist blend and the one I picked was uh, Wilkie Wilkie pipe tobacco so here are some uh, here are the four Wilkies that I've um, bought and uh, they're not all aromatics this time um, some are what they call nat natural aromatics without toppings like with Cavendish in them but uh, take a look at them and here they are number 10 Downing Street Lord Nelson Churchill and Crystal Palace and the one I thought I'd kick off with is uh, you can read it there in that handwriting Lord Nelson Lord Nelson well um, I've got some background information about Wilkie started in 1872 I'm going to put this information on the slide so that you can read through it more at leisure. Edwin Wilkie was um, an immigrant. Now there's several other videos in YouTube and I'll try and link one or two of them down. All credit to those who drew my attention to, to Wilkie Tobacco. Well, they became uh, pretty well known in the, from the 30s onwards when they, the two daughters of uh, Edwin Wilkie actually made pipes you can still find some estate pipes today if it's got E. Wilkie on it. Um, they, they were very highly considered even back then. You know, $100 in the 1950s and the 1970s, they became $500 to $3,000 worth. So they, they were really valued pipes. Like many pipe companies or, or tobacco companies of course the ownership changed and they have quite complex histories of who took it over so uh, in the 80s there was a chap called Elliot Nachwalter probably also German descent I assume with a name like that but his wife Carol Burns is um, still known today. She was the uh, one of the expert blenders. I think she still has a website, VT Pipes, I think it's called, where she um, sells estate pipes. And finally, today, 
the recipes and blends are owned by a guy called John Brandt, who continues the tradition, produces these lovely uh, tobacco blends, which of which I bought some. And that's since um, 2017 that he's been doing it. So they sent me four nice um, two ounces, but I think they sent me a lot more than two ounces. <laughs> and they sent a nice card with it, which you can stick onto your jar to identify it. And of course it was in um, the usual plastic bag. So it's dried out a bit. And I put a hydration stone in here because um, smoked about three bowls of this. And uh, it is um, it was a little dry when I when I got it, it was fast burning. So this has slowed it down a bit. I'm probably going to put another hydration stone into it. It's a lovely morning here. Really, just pure sun. A little bit of veiled cloud coming over. Oh, by the way, recent addition. This is um, a Zippo brass armor lighter so it's a little heavier uh, brass case with deep engraving so I got the one with the, the lovely cross on it keep the vampires away and all that you know onward Christian soldiers and uh, of course I have put a an insert into it a Thunderbird insert I did notice that there's a little groove on the plastic um, butane holder here. There are three grooves and the first one you'll have to file off otherwise you might find these don't fit so easy. This, this groove here I had to file off a bit because it just wouldn't go in. I don't know if uh, Zippo have come up with a trick to stop them replacing their inserts or whatever but after I took that off then it goes in fine so I do apologize but I'm slowly going mad with this uh, being locked in and now I've got this ditch in front of my house I can hardly leave at all so making a, a video is quite therapeutic so do forgive the, uh, the noise. So this is uh, bowl number four. Um, I've had three over the last couple of days. What do I think about it? Um, and what is it? It's a black Cavendish Virginia. Vanilla topping and ribbon. It actually looks like a fine ribbon. It's not a shag, but it's a very, very nice ribbon. See? And there's it's na a lot of natural Virginia, uh, Virginia and uh, Cavendish there. Not much black Cavendish, a, a bit. There's a bit of black Cavendish mixed in there. But not much. And it's, it's very, very mild. It's uh, an excellent beginner's blend, I think. Um, so you note, know, you know, vanilla a little bit at the edge. You have to sort of work at it. So it's, it's a very low level tin note, let's say. And when it was too dry and I was smoking it, I was struggling a bit to get the flavor. But of course, that's, I'm gonna make a video just about moisture. I've ordered a, a moisture meter and everybody says you've got to hit 14% for tobacco to be about right in moisture. 
and that's a topic all on its own so I'm, I'm going to address that because I wasn't too happy with the advice you know everyone says oh you don't want it dry that it's all falling apart and dust and you don't want it soaking wet uh, like a wet towelette you know to coin the um, stuff and things uh, Bradley expression for very wet like Garwith you want something in the middle well that's no no bloody good is it I mean in the middle is all the way there so and then a lot of people say well you feel it you know it, it's it should be you feel the moisture but it shouldn't stick together you know what I'm going to suggest is you measure one or two blends at 14 percent you know it's probably right and then you try and get the feeling and describe it a bit more what that feeling is or you just get yourself one of these meters because they're very inexpensive now a lot of people use them for uh, potted plants and for soil and things like that and they may not be the cheap ones may not be you know perfectly accurate but accurate enough and certainly ac more accurate than somewhere you know in this curve in the middle you want to be but you know so the first bowl I was struggling a bit and also I was walking and I never liked to do that because it was a bit windy and it burned very quick and um, but now for example I think I'm getting near to it you see there's some moisture in this jar a little bit of condensation because of the sun and um, it's, it's getting about right. It doesn't feel that wet when you take it out, but obviously it's got moisture in there. And of course, with the Nor Lord Nelson blend, Lord Nelson tamper had to be, didn't it? Well, there's actually only one review on uh, tobacco reviews and he gave it a three it's basically for me an all-day smoke mild gentle sweetness kiss of vanilla you know easy light um, if you if you get the moisture right then it's, it's getting close to right now of course, like many mild blends like this, it's almost no nick or very low nick, or you just don't don't feel it that much. But it's a good a good solid um, all day smoke, gentle, high quality tobacco, no question about it. The problem is this space of mild vanillas like this is very occupied. There's a lot of other blends out there, so it's not going to wow you at all. It's, it's, it's one of them, you know. So I personally wouldn't have given it three. In my notebook I will... Um, Enter a 2.7 because uh, there are so many others similar, but it's a good example. It's very solid. It's still a good 2.7 is still good. You see the work going on over there. <laughs> Fascinating is that they're going through this old glacial plain. So all the rounded stones from the moraine and, and the floodplain of the glacier and they've even found a, a level of very heavy blue-green clay which was a riverbed at one time or a stream bed. It's a, the history basically you dig up when you dig earth, you know, geologically and uh, no treasure as far as I know. But I admire them. I shall be serving them some tea later on.
because they're working on in these difficult circumstances and they want this project done and as long as they're basically healthy we all keep our distance from them which we do in the village um, you know they can get on with their work and young st strong fit men they they need work you know and they wouldn't think to sort of leave it half done that said have you ever noticed that whenever guys are working on the road or something like that there's always three pensioners like me and my neighbor and the one over the corner there an hour ago we were all sort of looking at them you know like <laughs> when I was younger to earn some money and uh, for my dad who had a little building company and you know it, a lot of things don't change <laughs> well, and the same all over the world but we keep our distance from them of course and um, uh, you know offer them some canned drinks and stuff where they you know get a bit of refreshment it's still uh, it's beautifully sunny the last few days but it's, it's been very cold and a nasty cold wind it's a little bit warmer today I think it's going to go up from 10 to 14 degrees which is sort of wonderful you know it burns easy this you you probably won't even have to relight it you know um, I just would advise when you get it is check your moisture level but it's nice I, I can imagine the locals and if you're in Massachusetts absolutely you would get some of this for you just sort of uh, you know your everyday kind of easy smoking if you like vanilla but it's very very, you know, mild, you know. And it makes it a little nondescript in the category that it's in. So the next one, if you want, leave a comment of uh, what, uh, what should be the next one. Should it be Churchill? Should it be Crystal Palace? Number 10 Downing Street is the other one. I'm curious about the Churchill one because it's got tobacco leaf in it. Of course, from a cigar, Churchill, you know. And it's a bit of a stronger one. It says it should be medium nick, which I can handle, but I don't like anything on from there, but we'll see. Okay. Again, I'm apologizing a bit, but it's sporadic their work program so I never know when it's going to be quiet and I, I, I need to get out in some fresh air even if it's in the balcony but um, I hope this is going to be an interesting new blend series from uh, Wilkie I'm sure the quality is there by this first one so uh, it's going to be interesting so let me know what you think the next one is I should do in the next few days as I work through them. Hope everybody is all right out there. There are some worrying emails of um, fellow members of YTPC. And uh, my thoughts are with you, Curmudgeon Piper and the divine Miss Lee. I hope everything goes all right. And for those others, Simon, London Calling, I hope you get well soon. And um, anyone who is poorly or uh, even has succumbed to this terrible virus, I hope you'll recover quickly. Well, take care, everyone. Stay healthy. Cheerio for now. Bye.